Patrick, you're a very calm young man. Now that the dust has settled on Saturday night, can you make any more sense of, of what went down? Look, I think we, we have to give credit where credit's due. I think Japan played particularly well. Um, obviously, it wasn't the performance that we were looking for as a Springbok side. Um, so with, with those two points in mind, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's where we're at right now. Yeah, obviously, as, as Pat said, uh, we must get, give credit to Japan. They really put us under, uh, under pressure defensively, the breakdown. Um, we had a look at the game, and I thought that uh, maybe our discipline let us down a bit at times. Um, we had a few soft moments, uh, but hopefully those, those are things that we can rectify. So we're looking forward to this week in terms of the Samoa game to fix those. Ricardo, what are the, the problems this season, all season long, has been finishing the guys create a lot of opportunities? Almost every test this year, and not so as well. The finishing hasn't always been there. Um, is there <coughs> have you guys been able to pinpoint? What can you do to rectify? Yeah, I think I'll, the way I see it is that, uh, as I said, you need to give credit uh, to the teams we're playing, at, uh, especially in, the, in their 22. Uh, defensively, they're good, so it's not always easy to score there. Um, from our side, I think it's something that we can work on in, in training, and it's definitely a focus point for us. Um, Hopefully on the weekend we can create a few more opportunities and uh, finish those. Ricardo, were you happy with the way the team adapted to that pressure? You spoke about decision-making earlier. How do you feel they adapted to that pressure? Yeah, I thought that <coughs> we adapted well. Um, we spoke about our decision-making before and um, there's definitely a focus area where we want to improve and I thought we did well. We spoke about it half time, um, happy with that. Obviously, when you look back at the game, there's obvious, obviously areas that you feel you can still improve on. Um, uh, we look at those and uh, see if we can fix it uh, on the weekend. Jesse, as a young, as a young spring, Springbok, um, what was your take on uh, what happened? I'm sure I've never seen anything like it. Obviously, we were very disappointed with the, with the result and how we played. And uh, But I think the, the great thing about rugby is we've got another opportunity this weekend to go and make it right. So I think that's where everyone is at, and um, obviously we're going we're gonna to review the game and um, go forward. Okay, Ricardo, without uh, trying to ask you to give away your game plan, but what are you expecting on Saturday from the Samoans? Yeah, look, uh, they're always a physical side, um, always tough to play against them. Uh, we play them a few times now, so uh, first things first for us is to make sure that we handle their physicality. Um, Obviously, we want to play the way we want to play, so it's important for us to to play the way we want to play, uh, and that's always to, to score tries. Um, but um, as I said, uh, very physical side to play against, it, and I think on Saturday it will be no different. Patrick, you've been uh, with the Springboks now for over four years, or just about 40 odd tests. Um, you understand the mentality of the side, uh, it tends to be when the backs are against the wall, Springboks really dig deep and find something special. Um, are you hopeful that something similar could happen this week? Yeah, I definitely am I'm hopeful. I guess we don't really have a choice now. Um, but you're 100% right. Uh, certainly since I've been involved with the Springboks, it's brought the best out in the group when we've had our backs against the wall. Um, and like has been said already, so all our focus is completely on Saturday against Samoa and we really want to make things right. Were you surprised by the good Japan? No, we definitely weren't surprised. We'd spoken about it all week. We knew that they would be up for it. We knew it was going to be a very fast game, um, that they were going to play above themselves, lots of leg tackles. They were going to, you know, uh, a high ball and play uh, time. Um, so, I mean, even at half time, the, the talk was good. Everyone was calm. Um, they weren't you know, too many wide eyes or anything like that, so, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised, no. Um, look, I think we, yeah, we, we'd all, all the players are looking forward to getting our team review over and done with this afternoon and getting out on, onto the training field and, and, and moving on. We, we, really, we really are looking forward to making this right. We, we're all hurting uh, more than ever before now. And so we do we have a response?
Ja, as ek kyk na die, na die video, um, belangrik vir ons is de, seker te maak identificeer wat ons foute gemaak, um, uitgaan op die veld, dit rechtstel, uh, seker maak jou ingesteldheid moet goed wees, en ek geloof elke speler, elke coach, um, elke management lid, allemaal is, is recht om te gaan, allemaal kan die wacht om uit te gaan om te oefen vandag, en seker te maak die foute wat ons gemaakt het uh, die naweek om dit recht te stel heen. Oké, okay, na die, die weekend te groot skok, Wat verwaard jy van die Pacific Islanders? Sometimes... Ja, dat is een baie fysische span. Um, so, eerst is het recht, als het recht maak, ons kom, seker maak ons die rechte ingesteldheid, um, hulle gaan verseker kom, um, belangrijk vir ons het ons seker maak, het ons voorbereiding is goed, um, fysisch sowel as, as mentally, en ek denk, uh, allemaal sien uit na vandagse oefening, kom ons kry die review uit die pad uit, kom op die oefenveld en maak rechts oefening as moendlik.